Hey guys, John here with another Construct 2 tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a top-down zombie-like shooter, but this one's going to be um, have a little bit more detail than just the basic shooter because you're going to have more of a inventory and a system to where you can actually build stuff. So you'll have like say uh, tin cans. And then say you have like shrapnel or whatever and explosives well you can build some sort of like shrapnel grenade or say you have uh like strips of cloth and some sort of like gooey uh like healing medicine you can create a bandage basic stuff um because that's what a lot of guys have been asking for. And I finally actually put together a little system that's going to work. But we're going to build the entire game or little tutorial game. So you guys can see how I uh, do it. So as you can see, I have a little uh, box. I have these little nodes so that we can see th that we're actually moving. We have an actual gun. So we have a flashlight. And uh, the, the scene's going to be mostly dark. But I haven't put that in yet because I want us to see you know, the basics before we actually get straight into it. So we're going to run the, lay the layout. I have this in a node web kit. As soon as it loads up. Construct 2, powered by Sierra.com. Okay, so we have this little guy and he's moving to the direction of our mouse. And then we can move up and down. Is a gun. We click on it, boom, we are, and then we have it. And then he's got a uh, shooting animation. Shooting animation only has three frames, so you're not actually going to like um, see it a lot. But uh, the link is going to be down below. But uh, if you ju if you guys want to uh, test it out or play around with the file, but you're going to see him switch between the actual animations because it's a little. I'm not going to. The animations are set very different between idle with gun and uh, him shooting. So you're going to see a little bit difference. Also, there's a little uh, a frame um, change. So we're now moving. As you can see, I actually increased the uh, frames per second to 15 so we could see it's a little bit more hurried. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to hit number one. And it's going to load up the frames for um, him without the gun. So there we go. Him with just his flashlight. And then he has a hit effect. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pin a collision box or a 2D box to his fist. And whenever that hits something, uh, it's going to register, hey, I just got hit by a box that says if I get hit by this, I have a minus of 15 health. Or say he hits a... Uh, broken wall he can smash it then so boom and he can just he can walk around and then he has an idol all right so if we switch over to number two boom he has his gun and then he shoots he has his regular idol walk so very basic stuff I'm gonna go over the code now Okay, so uh, the key to all of this is a player state. So th um, you have basically one. So anything that equals one is going to say, hey, you're going to uh, basically play these type of animations. Anything that play that is the reference to state two or number two is going to play these sets of animations. So for every tick, he's going to angle toward mouse X and mouse Y. That's basically the uh, 2D coordinates for when your mouse is in top-down mode and you're just uh, flying circles around the character. He's going to actually look toward where that mouse is being rendered on your screen and he's going to look at it. So up arrow pressed and also so if the up arrow is pressed and the player state is 1 we're going to set the an uh, set animation to move underscore flashlight, play from beginning. Uh, the same thing with left arrow, down arrow, right arrow. It always checks to make sure that the player state is 1. This will allow us to say, well, no, you're in player state 2. We need to reference, um, you know, move underscore handgun or idle underscore handgun 
not move underscore flashlight. No, we need to make sure because to change the state, you have to either press one number key or two number key and so on and so forth since there's going to be a couple other guns. So all these are movement and they reference a player state which is a global number. Okay, so player state control number pad. Again, I'm going to add more to these. So one, two, this is his flashlight. This is going to be the handgun, and he's going to have a couple other guns too. So more, some more player stuff. So I'm I'm labeling all this stuff for you guys. Uh, on collision with Sprite 4, the handgun, the player is uh, moved to player states too. So you pick it up. Oh, cool! I have found a handgun. Oh wait, it has no ammo. I'm now going to revert back to. Um, uh, we call it a player state one, where I can hit stuff. So on left button clicked, it's gonna okay. So on left button clicked, if player state is two, he's now going to shoot the handgun. So it's saying okay, uh, he's clicked it, but click references a lot of action stuff. Okay, let's see what he's referencing. Uh, currently, we're on player state one, so I'm not going to reference or play the animation shoot underscore, underscore handgun. I'm going to reference uh, idle melee or, or something like that. So if it is player state two, he's now going to shoot the handgun. Also, we're going to later add on to that um, every time for every click. If it's player stays 2 and the animation is shoot handgun, it's going to be minus 1 on an ammunition. This is when we start getting into our, um, basically our items. So in this section of the tutorial, we're moving, we're just dealing with the player. On the next section, it's going to be collecting items, our backpack, UI that we can pull out to see how much ammo we have and everything. Okay. Oops. Okay, so if not moving, set animation to idle handgun uh, if it's player state 2. And if the e direction is also not moving and the player state is 1, we're going to reference idle flashlight. Um, if it's player state 1, on start of layout, um, we're going to set our player state state to one so it's not deciding hey what do you want us to be um, at that point you don't have a gun or anything you just have a flashlight so you're gonna auto default to player state one okay so now we're moving on to the up arrow press player state two so basically copying everything up above and saying hey if it's player state two we're going to move with the handgun we're going to basically do everything now with the handgun if it's player state 2. So remember, it's always referencing the number. It's always checking to say, hey, is it 1 or 2? Or in this case, it's going to be 3, 4, and 5. Which number am I on? And what animation at that point am I going to default to? Weapon collision disappear. So on collision with sprite 4, destroy. Um, on collision with sprite 4, you could actually move that up here which we can actually do right now by just dragging the destroy animation and it's popping it right up there because we don't need it anymore okay makes stuff a little bit more slim line okay so that's everything for now so I'm going to do the the rest of the animations, uh, there's some um, handguns, there's a shotgun, um, I think there's a rifle. So I'm going to finish all those and I'm going to do a video on that so I can show you guys how everything works. And then we're going to move on to um, our inventory to where we can pick up bullets, items, drop items, pick up items. Uh, and then after that we're going to work on our kind of a part two to our inventory is actually building stuff so certain items you can build certain other items that you can't so again like you can make an explosive you can put bullets in it or you can put nails in it or shrapnel which is just junk um, to build explosive bombs and everything and then we're going to work on our final part which is our enemy and see how they react to the player 
and the level of AI and the type of enemy. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.